Oh my goodness, it's actually warm. Well, it's not freezing. Let's get some lights up. So today I'm going to be doing the planning that I normally do at the start of the 12 weeks, where I'm going to sketch out roughly what I'm aiming for for the next nine weeks. But I'm really excited just to get back to like being an artist in an art studio. I don't think I've got anything major coming up. I've got a couple of drops near my birthday, so I'm going to do a couple of NFT drops on my birthday, and then I'm just going to get on with all the handwriting stuff. But I didn't get to do much pen plotting stuff last year, so I'm really looking forward to just doing some experiments and doing some fun stuff with that. I'm feeling pretty darn positive, so let's get on. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, whatever the heck's going to be going on out there just on my way to the estate agents because we've had an offer on the uh on the old studio so i want to get the paperwork on that moving as quickly as possible so i'm going to head back to the old studio to do well do some more typing because it's cold and it's really stormy all right but that's a nice that's a nice turn up for the book i'm going to call it a day It's looking pretty good. The black here is amazing. I don't think I've seen black that dense or matte when I'm using pens on here, but this, like the Noodler's Heart of Darkness ink here on this amazing paper that's designed for print, this has worked really well. I don't see the paper torn up at all, so I'm going to keep that in mind for our plotting in the future. So that's one thing I've got done today. The other thing, I managed to hopefully make a short from it. I've got my shot list. Uh, that tells me all the shots that I need. So I managed to do a time lapse and got all my medium shots. So that's on the B cam over here. Meanwhile, I'm checking to make sure that the uh, these postcards whoop, will actually fit into these cello wrappers to protect them and will fit in the envelopes, which they do because over here, let's get rid of these windows. Uh, I've added kitty cards. I've got a kitty corner on the shop now. So these postcards plotted by Kitty. Uh, you can order them and then they get plotted on demand. So they'll happen over there. Feeling pretty good about today. Got quite a bit done. And there's a little bit of time left at the end just to edit the short or the reel and then uh, work on my code a little bit more. My, my birthday drop. I'm going to do more of that tomorrow. So I'll talk about that tomorrow. But this is sweet. It's Shrewsbury Prison, star of many TV programs and now comics, I think. And it's very windy. We're just on the tail end of the second storm here in the uh, UK. I think the first one's Aisha. This is Storm Jocelyn. See, the beard's weather vane is giving that away. And uh, I'm just heading into the studio. It's nice and light, but that's because I'm running a little bit late. But I'm so glad the darkness is mainly over. Uh, let's get in and figure out what we're doing today. I almost don't need all this stuff. It's a lot warmer in the studio this week. Today I am working on the birthday NFT drop that is about three weeks. My birthday is on the 15th of February and I'll be 52. So I thought I'd do a drop of 52 things. It's looking roughly like this. It's a very graphic design project again. Sorry, I just thought uh, one of the things that I kind of have trouble with is keeping things kind of simple because I just want a really strong graphic design type of thing. But because you're you're kind of selling these to people, I keep getting this thing going, oh, it needs to be really complicated and lots of stuff in it. And I, I want to give them like value for money or something like that. What I really want to do is these nice, clean, strong graphic design type of things anyway. So that's what, kind of what this is. Although as you'll see in a moment, I'm about to add more to it. So we have this. If I just, it's got a little bit of interaction on it. Like if you move the cursor around, it places these in different places. And we've got these different strong colors. The color system is actually the same as Twins, the project that I did down here. So all these things, there's a system that picks colors and picks palettes. So I'm using the same engine behind both of these. So that's kind of fun. And the other thing is this design was, was based on a square, like an old square design, but I've extended it because I prefer this format. But it gives me this space down here, which is nice. It's a nice balance, but I do want to put something in here and here. So one thing I've been thinking of, if I go back down to here, is on an older project 
Uh, I've got these little square tabs just here on the edge, which are actually encoding a little bit of information. I did it a bit more on these album covers. Over here I've got these album covers where we're encoding information in. And then on this one here, which is this way, so this is the encoded information, it's actually got cat 23 down here. And again, I kind of like this little motif here. And also at the same time, in this book over here, Rudolf de Harak graphic design. Uh, I've bookmarked this one here because I want to use these for something. Not quite like this, I think just the left hand side. And I really like how these grow out, but they're not always aligned. So there's a little bit of maths involved in figuring that out. But I reckon over here with this kind of composition here, where the top half, this is kind of your square. So you've got this space down here. If I have the squares here more over on the left, and these circles on the top right here will have quite a nice balance on this composition. So yeah, back to this. I think having circles here and then squares down here will be just what I need. And then it's done. It's so nearly done anyway. So that's what I'm doing today. And I'm probably going to be doing that for the rest of the week. And then a little bit next week, I want to make a video about it so I can actually explain it. Because sometimes I make a video about a project after it's gone out. And I think it'd be nice to get a video out before that happens. And then I've got a follow up video about the pricing, how I'm doing the pricing. But it's not really about the pricing. It's about my experience of launching NFT projects and how weird it is having flippers earmarking you as an artist worth flipping. I really need to get around to opening the rest of this advent calendar, ink calendar, because I've got all these great inks. I'm trying to work out what to do with them. And uh, we have to stop that because it started getting too cold to be in the studio. See, yesterday in the newsletter, I wrote about Kitty having these cards in the shop here. So whenever she's going to be coming up with any more generative stuff, it's going to go here. But the fun thing about this is that when you put an order in, there's a box for special instructions. I said that whatever you type into that box, I'm going to pass straight directly onto Kitty. At some point, she'll be reading from the Shopify API, so hopefully that'll all be automatic. And then she's going to write responses over there. And of course, you lot are very entertaining because some of the stuff that Kitty is writing here has been making me smile quite a lot. And I've got these stack of cards to get through here, which means I'm going to need to make some more. But yeah, as soon as you say to people, yeah, you can talk to an AI and it will write your postcards back. You get lots of fun stuff coming up. So I'm really pleased with how that is going. It'll be, like I said, nice to automate it a little bit more. But as an experiment, it's kind of fun. We might even get some AI, AI pen pals. That'll be good. The rest of the day, I'm going to be, um, well, editing these week notes. And then I've got to work more my perspectives projects. And I think that's roughly it. Oh, we've got an offer in on the old studio. So I need to go and fill in some forms for that as well. So that's really good. I'll catch up with you again at the end of the day. I think that's the way I'll do it. All right, bye. It's a bit sunny and bright. Right, I've got a whole stack of cards to go stick into the post. Kitty has finished writing them all. It took quite a while, actually, so I need to maybe reassess my maths on that. And then uh, grab some lunch, and then back on with the uh, actual code. I think that will do it for weeknights. I hope you all have a lovely weekend, and I will uh, I'll see you next week. Let's cross over. Okay, bye. Nearly forgot, quick uh, weight update. I didn't lose any weight this week. I have no idea why. Um, I ate all the things as normal, but I guess that's just the way it goes, yeah. So no weight loss this week. We'll try again.